guys welcome back to another Atlantic Fleet video and today I'm going to show you how to be an expert in night combat okay the first stuff that you will be thinking of night combat is why is the range finder so stupid why is it so inaccurate why is my shot so inaccurate and all of those stupid stuff now I'm going to tell you you do not have to be so frustrated in that particular thing now I'm going to teach you how today I'm going to demonstrate you to the Washington because I'm very familiar with the ship first everything you want to remember is you have to familiar with the ship you chose you have to know the difference between the elevation angles the range differences this is very important to correctly estimate your shots if you do not understand your shit well then you might get the wrong elevation when you are trying to adjust the fire when the sh enemy ship is moving at high speeds like the Shanghaus, Bismarck they all are capable of over 30 knots please bear that in mind which are way faster than much of the British and American battleships in this game only yeah there's no shit faster than any of them except for the renowned class battle cruiser okay enough of talking let's get straight into it i switch to night off second player and here we go now the first thing you want to do i actually on limited visibility today to teach you how to use the radar correctly well the first thing you want to see is you can find shan horse anywhere because you can't see it now you have to find the radar contact dot right here and then it will show a radar contact it will show estimated distance estimated elevation trust me the distance is always wrong in this particular thing the first salvo just follow the radar because you have no idea the first thing you fire off remember your distance 17,000 yards in the first one okay now we fire see how the story goes and then we miss horribly as always in the first shot now Shan Horse is steaming at very high speeds now okay he also miss horribly now I'm going to check his speed. He's steaming at 25 knots and I'm going okay. Let's say I'm going at 1 knots. Take advantage of the tactical map which you can use. Look at the splash history. The first shot you made is quite ahead of the ship. Now the distance showing is 20,000 yards and for 20,000 yards for North Carolina's 16-inch um, guns you can just put around 16 degrees of elevation and well I think this time 15.8 is enough because it's not too far away and then the Shan Horse just moved at 35 degree. I mean not 35 degrees, sorry, sorry, 35 knots. I may miss in this shot again, but it's my estimated stuff. I'm just gonna tell you how you see my shots are getting accurate because I understand my ship. The first factor, understand my ship. Second thing, you must know how fast you are moving. The, the, um, and the enemy ship's movement is also important and then do not trust the radar after the second I mean the first shot okay now we can continue moving notice that I hit the ship with the last servo the second servo now the ship has moved 3,000 yards closer to me 
when I'm now I'm using radar information, which is not correct. So for North Carolina, I suggest that you lower zero point six degrees, and it will hit the target. Trust me. See? You trust me now? I'm experiencing this particular thing. Now I'm gonna share with you how to deal with these tricky situations. Do not trust the radar or the rangefinder if you're not using limited visibility. And if a ship's on fire, you can see the ship is not showing radar contact again. Bear in mind, during night combat, when you set a ship on fire, your radar will be more accurate. Yes, it is. And then radar shows that Sean Horse did move quite fast, which is 26.2 knots. And then obviously the radar is quite wrong. And then the perfect fire resolution should be at 14.8 degrees. See how this server goes. Okay, my fourth shot seems to be very, very stupid. Sorry for the estimations, guys. I'm not always wrong. I'm not always correct. Okay, Sean Horse hit me in turret one, and my superstructure which set me on fire. Now Sean Horse's guns are going to be much more accurate because I'm on fire, and I've lost speed quite a lot which means I'm quite heavily damaged now the perfect degrees should be 12.8 and then 12.6 okay see how the server goes 12.5 degrees okay not too bad I guess because I'm refreshing my galleries because I miss my last shot. See, Shanghai is getting way more accurate and hit my superstructure again. We shouldn't do too much of a damage. Now we're gonna keep moving on. And then we do not have to adjust our gunnery this round because splash history is the range of the splash history is same with the Sharm House position right now so we can just fire off a salvo and it will hit definitely and we knocked out one of his turrets which is quite good and still Sharm is still able to fire with his B turret which is quite bad okay let's continue on now both of the ships are not on fire so we have to shift back to radar contact again last shot shows that we hit Shanghai's top of 5 degrees so I suggest that we lower degrees to 11.9 we should hit the belt oh no I'm wrong it penetrated the superstructure and deck at the same time we knocked out all of his tur main turrets now it's only left for secondary so we can hammer this ship the radar is showing the wrong thing trust me the right the, the right elevation should be 11.2 or 3 see this servo should be very accurate yeah I'm right this round and Sean Hoss is firing a star shell I do not know why I do not want to know Okay, I'm gonna finish off the ship. Now you. Now I'm gonna repeat how. First thing, be very familiar with the gallery of your ship. Remember, first 20 degrees of a big gun, even the slightest one degree will make. A very big difference remember that when it comes to over 35 degrees it doesn't affect much because it's plunging fire okay so bear in mind when using destroyer guns 5 inch guns is different with the big 16 inch 14 inch 15 inch guns that you use in this game 
So we're gonna continue by finishing Sham Horse in this round. And the elevation should be 10.6 on our 16 inch guns, which is quite a good salvo. Okay, Shadows do nothing now. I'm going to test out the secondary batteries, which hopefully we will hit for the first time. It shows 23 degrees on our 5 inch slash 38 caliber guns. These guns are only available on the North Carolina class because North Carolina is one of the three sh American ships featured in this game. And it's the only ship with these 5 inch guns in this game. Splash history shows we miss all the shots. Now we should be able to just 21 degrees. And it should all hit Sean Horse. Well, not all of them. I will fire another salvo of 5 inch guns again this round. And I will go back to my big 16 inch guns. Well, in reality, actually, I'm just telling you. The North Carolina class, which is an American battleship class, the radar is extremely accurate in night combat. Because when Washington is fighting the Japanese battleship Kirishima in naval battle of Guadalcanal back in 1942, Washington was able to hit Kirishima with 9 16 inch shells within 7 minutes using radar glided gunnery as opposed to the Japanese which they spend a lot of time training on night combat without using radar well radar showed its superior compared to those kind of traditional training I guess correct me if I'm wrong so well in this game radar is not very accurate thing in this game it's different okay the radar it's a rangefinder radar is quite an accurate in Atlantic fleet so do not trust the radar too much now I'm gonna finish off Sean horse okay I must have been with the 5 inch gun for too long so I missed horribly there sorry well hopefully you now can become an expert in night combat now I've shared my experience with you it did work out in most situations Yeah, really. Just telling you, master the ship that you're using, and it will help you out in the future. Like how Sean is dying right now with the big 16 inch shovel. Hopefully, this video helped you out, and I repeated it once more just to remind you how effective my way is <laughs> yeah I'm really serious with this thing see full hit this I need to use even use the radar on this round well hopefully you enjoy the video be sure to subscribe if you haven't how's the finishing Full 16 shovels on that stupid shovels feeling, huh? Ooh, there goes Sean Horse. Medium damage. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like 
and subscribe to my channel although i repeated this once again in the outro of the video and i will see you in the next video where i will showcase more tips on this game in the future goodbye guys